Triangula, also known under its old name Triades, is maybe the best game I've invented and a strategy game for two persons. Because it's uh, currently not available in stores, I've programmed a browser version. So you can play the game for free in the browser against each other or against the computer or let's say the server. Uh, it should also work on most tablets and smartphones. Just follow the link in the description. In this video I want to talk about the idea of the game, the handling of the browser version and the simple rules of course which you can also find in the bottom of the page here. Just click here and go down. So here are the rules uh, on the page directly. Well, as mentioned, uh, Triangular is a ga mind game for two players. It consists of uh, one red playing piece, this one here, 24 black pieces and 24 white pieces all with the shape of a uh, triangle. Well, there are two ways to win this game. It's like in boxing. Uh, you can win by score, making more points than your opponent, or by KO, so sudden death, which is this situation here, for example. We will see. Beginning. One player takes the white pieces and the other the black pieces. The red piece is placed in the middle of the table here. The players take turns placing one piece at a time on the table. White starts. The pieces must be placed in such a way that at least one side of the triangle touches the side of another triangle which has already been placed, like here. Well, how to score? You can score points by forming triangulars out of one's own pieces by placing three of them at the corners of an imaginary isosceles triangle, like here. Yes, you place here, here and here and build up this triangle or white place, uh, places here, here and here and builds up this triangle. It does not matter whether the complete area of thus formed triangles contains gaps or pieces which are not one's own. If a player forms such a triangle, one earns points for the edge length of this triangle. So, for example, here, while the player with the white pieces gets two points for this triangle. Here, the player with the red, uh, black pieces gets uh, three points. And you can also build up uh, two or three of these triangles by one move, like here, in this example. Here, the player with the white tiles has placed uh, a piece here and builds up two of those bigger triangles. And so he gets four points for this one and two points for this one, so six points in total. Okay, when all pieces are laid on the table, the player wins who has earned more points than the other. If the scores are even, the game ends in a draw. But as mentioned, uh, there is a sudden death possibility. And uh, you see two examples here. If a player forms a triangle in accordance with the rules above, with two of his own pieces, like here, and the red one, he directly wins the game. In this case, the player with the red tiles has won the game. Or here in this example, the player with the white tiles builds up this triangle, two own pieces and the red piece, and has 
once again. Okay, these are all the rules. Okay, let's now talk about the ending of the Bowser game. There are three game modes you see here. Um, human versus machine, machine versus human, human versus human. If you want to start a new game, just click on one of those links. Then a new game is uh, started uh, in this mode. Um, how to move? You see the a program numbers all possible moves here. And uh, just take your choice, for example, I don't know, move five, and say go. So, and as you see, the move is done. Uh, the program also counts um, the moves you, have, you made and shows you here how many moves are left. So, the player with the white uh, tiles has uh, 15 uh, uh, moves left. And the player with the black tiles has um, uh, 16. It's important to know in the end of the game how many uh, moves you can, can make. Um, it also, the program also counts uh, the points automatically. As you see here, nobody has scored uh, yet. And, uh, and also uh, it shows uh, uh, if a player has won the game. So, okay. Okay, playing Triangular remotely. If you want to play Triangular against someone who is not there, simply. It works like good old letter chess. You both open the game in the human versus human mode, agree who has which pieces and tell your opponent the move you have made so that he can follow it. Uh, the numbering of the possible moves is always identical for both players. So this is a way it is possible. Okay, have fun with this game.